Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over absolutely free resources to get into pen testing in 2025 going into 2026. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And we're gonna have some fun in this video. So at the end of the video, if there's not a platform or a tool that you use for free, Put it in the comments below and I would love to learn more too. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first things first, I love to recommend Try Hack Me. This is for absolutely beginners and getting into the world of pen testing for free, right? So Try Hack Me is a good platform because it, it pretty much handholds you for the most part, right? And before we even get into this, if you're getting into pen testing and you don't know what pen testing is, you know, this is pretty much a good starting point, right? Penetration testing obviously is a cyber attack. We simulate this into our methodology going against a target, a client, something like that. We get paid to pen test an organization to make sure they're safe against real attackers to catch those attacks before the real bad guys do it, right? So like I said, Try Hack Me is definitely a good place to start. And a few rooms that I would always recommend, and I've said this probably in multiple, multiple videos, is right here. If you look at the roadmap right here, you click on learn. Remember, you can do this all for free. Click on roadmaps and you can go to pre-security is number one. And then you can look at security 101. And then you can get into the penetration testing, right? You can look at penetration testing, junior penetration tester, and then you can take your PT1, which is a certification, web apps, or web fundamentals, web application pen testing, and red teaming. So you can do all of this, and this goes down the penetration testing route, right? <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for, I'm just gonna go over the platforms to check out for free. The next one, I'm actually gonna turn these around. So the modules from Hack the Box Academy, right? They do have a free tier. Right, I believe it's tier zero is the free one. And you can just click on, for an example, introduce, uh, intro, intro to the academy. You can just click around in here and see what's up. You can go to easy and you can see how to use it and you can figure out which ones are free, which ones aren't, okay? And obviously for, I don't wanna disclose or showcase anything that I'm not supposed to, well, you can click in here and use, go down the free path. The second one, if you go on just hack the box or app.hackthebox.com, you can go over to their machines. You can do their active machines. Their active machines are free, but I'm gonna say hack the box is a little more, I don't wanna say user friendly. It's a little more experience needed to perform these different attacks. The reason being is not really hand holding per se. You know, you just get your own a machine, for example, you look at this easy machine, you can look, there's no, there's no walkthroughs on the active machine, so you really have to know your, your stuff, okay? So you just click on it, you go through the process, they just gives you an IP address, and you VPN in and you do your stuff, you do your magic. And if you wanna get more into, for example, web security, right? This is an awesome place to start, Portswigger. I actually use this. I don't really talk too much about Portswigger, but I will be doing some labs with Tiberius next month. I believe it's on October 25th. You can check the lives, the, the schedule. And I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna do some web hacking together and he'll showcase some cool stuff. But anyhow, you can click on the Academy and you can, everything on here is absolutely free. You know, and if you, like I said, if you're interested in doing web hacking, it's not my favorite, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And pretty much this is a golden platform to learn it, right? It teaches you the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities and you know interactive labs and so much more. You know, you can go to the uh, dashboard here and you know you can check out, for example, anything here. Whoops. It's really slow this VM. I, I should have rebooted it, but anyhow, you can see like you can see client side vulnerabilities and you can see different things here, then you can go for your burp sweep practitioner certification if you're interested, right? Another platform that I've used, and these are all platforms I've used and I know about, is INE. So INE has some intro to cybersecurity, 
uh, uh, cybersecurity fundamentals, ethical hacking basics. You can just click on here. I, I'm not signed into my account right now. Uh, let me just zoom this in a little bit more. And you can see areas of interest or learning areas. Click on cybersecurity and you can go down here and just check out what, like for example, popular. You can see incident response, digital forensics, DFIR, uh, intelligence of, in threat hunting, incident response analyst, blah, blah, blah. You can see everything here and you can check out some of their courses, but I'm sure there's some, there is some free ones and I jotted those down because I know those are the free versions here. And the next one here is VolnLab. So VolnHub, excuse me. So VolnHub is really, really cool because it provides you downloadable vulnerable machines that you can execute in VirtualBox or VMware. It's ideal to practice offline. So say for example, if you don't have access to the internet, for an example, or you know you just wanna have it in your own isolated environment, you can download these VMs, put on host only. I believe a lot of these machines are pre-configured with host only so they don't go out to the internet because they're vulnerable machines. And you can just you know, check out the difficulty, check out the operating system, the type of vulnerability. And you can see there's different series, there's singles and so on and so forth. And you can just click around and see like difficulty, easy, you know, empire. Obviously these are older, 2021, 2022. And the reason being, they probably stopped push, putting stuff out because there's other platforms as well, like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and all these other ones. But just to put it out there, it is a resource, right? I'm talking about free resources here. And I always talk about setting up your own lab. That's free as well. But this is other alternatives, right? The next one here is Pentester, PentesterLab.com, right? So you have different tiers. You have the free badges and all that stuff. And... Pentester, what does it offer you, right? It, it, it's like deep, in-depth exercises, step-by-step -step instructions. Some are totally free. You know, I checked out this when I was looking at the uh, uh, Port Swigger and had like introduction, this was years ago, introduction to web hacking and bound, uh, bug bounty hunter life or something. Well, you can just check it out. It's free. Like my VM is super, super slow. So it's probably gonna take a minute to upload or reload. I'm, and the next one here, this is another resource more into the web apps. Understanding, if you're getting into pen testing, if you're gonna go on an interview, if you're looking more for the web apps aspect, you're gonna understand the OWASP top 10. And obviously this is open source for community and all that stuff. So it's the security best practice documentations, the OWASP top 10, some cheat sheets to exploit and testing different flaws. So you can just click around, go around. You see the 2021 version versus the 2017 version. You know, you'll see this a lot, broken access controls, uh, and, and so on, injection, insecure design, security misconfigurations, etc. right? So these are the ones that I have now, right? So other stuff that you can actually go do is look at different, excuse me, hacking blogs and newsletters. That's another resource that you can check out. You know, you can do Hacker One. Hacker One is an awesome one. The Red Team Village. Obviously, I'm a part of the Red Team Village. I always, you know, at DEF CON, I participate and volunteer in their Discord and their, you know, community and all that stuff. And then there's so many other uh, other Discord servers, other sites that you can check out, learn, and just be a part of, right? And also there's books, there's free books that you can do. There's the web application hackers handbook. You know, there's, I think there's one out on the internet. I think I had the PDF um, and then the uh, hacking, the art of exploitation. And then the good old Reddit, right? Reddit's another one. Um, you can check out how to hack, pen testing, different Reddit threads or different Reddit uh, uh, sites or subreddits or whatever you want to call them. I said Discord servers. And obviously some absolutely tools you should know, they're free. Nmap, you should understand what Nmap is doing. Burp Suite, you can use the community edition inside of mostly the Kali Linux, uh, uh, Parrot OS, all the pen testing things. But I would always recommend using Exegol. 
Exegol is excellent. It's way better than Cali, way better than, I love it. I'm just a fanboy. Wireshark to understand network traffic and analyzing networks. And you understand like the Metasploit framework for exploitation framework. Remember, this is all free that's built into these frame, uh, to these distros. Hashcat, John the Ripper for cracking and passwords. Durbuster, Derb, GoBuster for directory brute forcing on a website. And remember, all these are open source and free. You know, you can't really beat it. So how I would structure this, and I, and I have this a part of my program, and this is what I'm pretty much going off of today. I'm going off of stuff that I deliver inside of my program, inside of my mentoring, my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So practice daily routines, right? So just one to two hours a day. You can do Monday, try Hack Me Room or Hack the Box Academy. Tuesday, Port Swigger. Wednesday, you know, OWASP. A Thursday, practice some Hack the Box or Von Lab or Von Hub or whatever. And then Friday, check out some tools like Burp Suite, Nmap, Hashcat, whatever you're doing, right? If it's AD, Bloodhound, whatever you're trying to learn, right? Just And then Saturday, like if you have a Hack the Box account, like a VIP, you can solve some of the retired machines and just rinse and repeat because the only way you're going to really learn this stuff is doing it. You can read all this stuff. You can listen to me. You can listen to other folks in the community. But if you're not putting your hands on the keyboard, it's never going to happen. It's never going to stick, right? And then, you know, <clears throat> check out podcasts. I do a podcast. I was doing it every Thursday, but life happens. I'm going to start doing Thursday Thursdays once a month, getting one uh, guest a month. Maybe I'll go back to like maybe two times a month, but with hockey season, I'm playing high. I just have so much stuff going on. And uh, other things I talk about in my, in my program is certifications because don't get me wrong. Yeah, some people are against certs, but I think certifications are good because it gets you past the HR. And um, you don't have to hurry into the certifications like even PMPT, CEH, CPTS, CBBH, even the shitty OSCP, right? You know, master your skills first and then utilizing these free materials and just feel comfortable, take your notes, understand the, 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 the stuff that you're learning, right? The content, and then you can choose a cert of whatever you wanna go down, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. And my last thing I wanna say is it's like, pen testing is not just memorizing the tools because the tools will change, right? I can be using a, you know, crack map exec, for example, and then it's now it's net exec. It's, you know, there's other tools to do different things. And being a problem solver, knowing how systems work and fail, you know, using these resources that you are learning today or that you're learning tomorrow, you can just create a fo solid foundation and do everything. So just learn today, keep learning. It's all free. What I said today is free 99. You don't have to pay for a dime. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this gives you the kickstart to 2025, 2026, uh, learning how to do pen test. And if you have any questions, if there's any other resources that I have missed, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.